I know you think I am an unsavoury character that will do anything, including selling his grandmother, but I'm not. But what I, what I would like to show you, what I want to show you is how easy it would be if you wanted to take something that didn't belong to you. Now let's say for example in your garden you wanted some kind of greenhouse, you wanted some kind of shed, and you've got a little bit of knowledge of how windows go together. Now look at this, left here, all alone, there is absolutely no security. If you wanted to, you could take this shack, which has been put together very well, and all it would need, in fact there's even electricity in there, it just needs hooking up. So if you wanted to, you could just unscrew it and put it on the back of a van. <coughs> Not that I'm condoning of taking something that doesn't belong to you. Although, the Pista, the Pista wants a wagon wheel. Now we're not talking mud pie here, uh, no mud pie, what was it called that Fekwit was eating at South Tube today? Moon pie! We're not talking moon pie, we're talking wagon wheel, a real horse and cart wheel. She wants to paint it up and put it in the garden and make it look pretty with flowers and... Uh, so that's what she wants to do. Anywho, uh, so we was walk I walked her to work today, we walked past this restaurant and she said, I wonder if we could climb over and take that wheel. She's so bad. Wanting to take stuff that doesn't belong to her. We won't do that, honest. I'll make one first, somehow, some way. In fact, that will make a wonderful Christmas present if I'm able to do it. <laughs> no, I can make one, but... Oh, I can hear dogs. That isn't always a good sign. Because that means that there's a bloody big dog around. Which sounds like it's getting closer. So I'm going to take this route. Because that sounds like a big dog. Not just a, not just a dog, but... Anyhow.
little video clip.